Best Bites Forever. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Best Bites Forever. Today I am making some acapurias. They are an absolutely gorgeous Puerto Rican appetizer. If you've never had them before, you are going to absolutely love them. So stay tuned and let's rock it out. So the first thing that I have here is some taro root. This is about two pounds. It's just a little bit over and I have some green bananas as well. So like five bananas usually will work, but these were kind of smaller-ish. So I went ahead and I got two extra. So I have seven bananas and I'm just going to put these to the side for one minute and I'm going to start off with my taro root. What I have here is obviously already peeled for me, which is super convenient. I bought this just because what was at the store yesterday was not looking amazing. I'm going to cut this into smaller pieces that I can fit into my food processor. And then using the smaller side of the blade, I'm going to go ahead and shred it up. You can also do this on your box grater, which I had to switch to because I broke the little safety mechanism thing on my food processor just now. So I'm doing this by hand, which is fine too. Use the small side on your box grater if you're doing it this way. And as you are doing this, you're going to want to put it into a bowl and have it covered with plastic wrap. That is going to keep it from oxidizing and getting like an ugly gray color to it. So I'm going to continue grating this up and then we'll go on to the bananas. So if you don't already know this trick, prepare to love me because I am going to save you a lot of heartache peeling your green bananas. Put them into a pan, put some boiling water on top of them. Wait just a couple of minutes, you're going to see these skins turning brown three to five minutes they're ready to peel. Alright so my three minutes are up. I've already peeled one. You can see I have gloves on because they are warm now and also because they leave a sticky residue on you if you don't wear your gloves. So chop off the ends, give it a little slice. You can slice down both sides if you want to. And these are going to peel so much easier than they would have without doing the water. Look at that. Bam. Peeling it off. So I'm going to go ahead, finish peeling these, and then we're going to shred them. Woo! Look at that, dude. What? And now we shred. Woo! Slippery. using the small holes again and as you're doing this be sure that you're moving your banana over here into your bowl and keeping it covered in plastic because the banana will oxidize really quickly so we don't want any ugly colors there mash it Nice and tightly covered. I'm going to finish grating up these other bananas. Alright, so here we have it. We did it by hand on a box grater. Woo! It's a lot of work too. Everybody go give whoever does your box grating stuff some love. I'm adding in a quarter of a cup of achiote oil. You can use olive oil here or canola oil and add sazon if that is what you're into, but I personally like the achiote oil. If you don't know how to make that, it is really, really simple and I'll put a video link for you. And here I have two teaspoons of kosher salt, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a teaspoon of coriander. The coriander is definitely not traditional, but it is really delicious in there. The garlic powder is also optional, so that's totally up to you if you want to add that in. But we're going to go ahead and mix this up really thoroughly by hand. Once your color is like even throughout, you know you have this mixed up really nicely and this needs to go into the refrigerator for a minimum of three hours. Overnight is definitely better. I'm going to have mine in there for probably five hours or so before I start cooking. I have people coming over tonight. Also, I'm putting this into a gallon baggie for two reasons. One, it's going to fit in my refrigerator much easier. And two, it's going to keep all of the air off of my masa and it's going to keep it from oxidizing and getting ugly. So I want to keep this beautiful color that I have going on. Get all of the air out of this before I put it away.
into the fridge this goes for at least three hours overnight is better like I said mine's probably gonna be in there for about five hours so now I'm getting going on my meat filling here in this pan I have some achiote oil again probably around I don't know two tablespoons or so I'm going to add some fresh sofrito into that and this is a fresh sofrito like I just now said I'm going to be using two cups I like to use one cup per pound of meat and I will leave a link to my recipe on how to make this if you don't know what sofrito is it is a combination of uh, ahi peppers cilantro or ricao garlic and onions and of course some people also like to add tomatoes or olives or some other things like that so I'm gonna go ahead and saute this around for just a couple of minutes I am going to add in some kosher salt probably around a teaspoon some freshly ground black pepper and I want to stir this all around and let it cook for just a couple of minutes before I add my meat in the next thing that I'm adding in here is two pounds of ground beef and usually I like to do a combination of ground beef and ground pork with some tocino but today I decided just to go with the ground beef mostly because that's what I had in my fridge and I just want to give a sprinkle of kosher salt right on top of that again some freshly ground black pepper and then I'm just going to kind of chop this meat into the sofrito as it cooks so when my meat is looking nice and brown like that I'm going to go ahead and add in 10 minced up olives along with about two tablespoons of freshly chopped oregano if you don't have fresh you can use two teaspoons of dried go ahead and stir that in so I have my oregano and my olives stirred in here and I'm just going to go ahead and add in about a quarter of a cup ish of tomato sauce I'm going to stir this in and then I'm going to let the meat finish cooking I'm going to cool it off and remove it with a slotted spoon and put it in the refrigerator until I'm ready to put together my beautiful acapurias so what we have left to do is to assemble our acapurias I have my masa I have a sheet pan with parchment paper and I have my meat here over to the side so now what I'm going to do is grab a nice little handful of my masa the handful is a little bit smaller than a tennis ball but a little bit bigger than a ping pong ball what is most important is to keep them all a consistent size go ahead and mash that down so that it is even as possible and then make like a little cup with your hand by bending your fingers get a nice big spoonful of the meat and just put it right into the center of that cup kind of press down on it a little bit just to make sure that it's nice and in there and now what we're gonna do is just close this over it's kind of like having a little open clam and just pushing its little mouth shut then you're just going to pinch to make sure that it is sealed well look over your little creation here and make sure that you don't have any bare spots if you do just patch them up with a little bit of masa make sure it's nice and sealed and the shape that you want and we are ready to go ahead and do the next one so I'm going to continue doing this until I get close to the end and then I'm going to heat up my oil today I'm using canola oil and I have it heated up to 350 degrees these are going to go into the oil and ideally you would have a little more bubbling than that something more like this go ahead and turn them after probably three minutes or so you want to make sure that you're getting a nice beautiful golden brown all the way around and of course that they are cooked inside as well you can add as many as you want as long as you're not cooling your oil or overflowing it once they're done drain them on the paper towels and you should have something that looks like this Hey, if you have not subscribed already, now would be a really great time, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, and happy cooking, everyone. Backbiteforever.com